Alan L. This is number two. We got some good crypto news, some finance news. If you're, uh, and of course, another active shooter, unfortunately. But uh, at a parade. Yeah. I mean, what, what do you, I mean, people can, we're going to get some good news too, though. We're going to, I'm going to show you my five best stocks, but we'll get into this stupid KC shooter. Surprisingly, not a white deranged dude. You know, and I mean that, dude. That's a lot of stuff I'm seeing online. And it kind of, I don't know, man. I kind of feel bad for you white guys, Alex. I'm, I'm fine with Middle Eastern. <laughs> <laughs> but they, uh, they keep saying, like, I guarantee it's a white guy. I would agree. I guarantee it's a white guy. Oh, a mass shooter? White guy. But I don't think there's anything wrong white. with prejudice towards crimes. If I mean, you kind of got to know. I mean, oh, it just is what it is, dude. If, if there's an active school shooter, it's a white psychopath. Um, you know, it just is what it is. I don't think there's anything wrong with being St truthful. Stereotypes exist. Yeah, right? I mean, they're not the. Absolute that's not truth. your. That's not your normal looking active shooter. No, it might I be mean, an active drive by shooter, but uh, yeah. Well, we all have our different crimes, dude. You know, they look at check out this video. They tackle him and they restrain him, and they're just basically they got him pinned to the ground. That's pretty brave because there's like an AK-47, like. I did or a rifle yeah. right over here. My man knows jujitsu, dude. Look how he's got like one hip to the ground. <laughs> he's for got, real. Like, you know what I mean, dude? That guy's not getting up. He's got he's sprawled on top of him. Then the cop comes and he's like, let him go. I mean, for real, you know my biggest fear though. State cop. What's that? My biggest fear is okay, I believe in the Second Amendment more than anything. Say you're there, Al. Mean you're um caring because that's how do you fight a gun again? You gotta have a gun. To protect yourself, protect your family. Right. I shoot him, okay? Someone sees me shoot him. They don't know who's good and bad. They oh. shoot me, and it's a reverberating domino effect of just good Samaritans getting shot. Yeah. Because think about it. Say he pulls out a gun. Most people, are, I pull out a gun. I shoot, protect. I, now, now it looks like I'm the active shooter. So now we don't know who's good and bad. Yeah. I would like, honestly, if there was an active shooter and I disabled him with my firearm... I always think about this scenario. Like, I'd probably get on the phone, call 911, like, look, I just, you can't incriminate yourself. But, either. dude, but I'm saying if this happened, you would never be able to have the wherewithal to shoot and then just get on the, you'd have, you'd be terrified someone's going to get you. Like, hey, I'm good, I'm good. I'd you, put my gun away. I'd hope to God to be that smart. You, but you don't know how many there are of these people you either. You kind of got to hope that a bunch of people seen you shoot him. For sure. And, and said he's like, good. He's, he's good. He's the good yeah. guy. But, like, if the cops rolled up, I know, you got where, a gun where would your, your gun be? You can't leave it laying around because somebody could snatch it. And your adrenaline's going. I'd out. be like this if the cops. Came I agree. Up, like, right I would here, just be on the ground, like start dude, walking backwards. Check the phone. I don't phone. know. What do you want me to do? A cartwheel. But but what, you've seen those unreasonable cops where they're like, they just ask you for so many demands for while sure. they have a freaking gun pointed. But at I mean, you. from their perspective, they don't know who's good, who's bad. Just listen. Just listen. Yeah. And what's here's what the sad part. This isn't. Why isn't CNN covering this? Why aren't all the? Why isn't MSNBC covering Cause it, this? Because it's nobody's covering this news. If it was a, if it was a white, dude. it was a white guy. That's not nine non-binary because they they don't cover yeah. uh, LGBT mass shooters too. Which if there is a list, there is a uh, yeah, there yeah, a chart of pictures of the last. I don't know how many school show shooters, show the people shooters. show the vic who are, how, show, victim who let me see how no 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 how many people was it were they all young. Dudes? They're saying 10 people. That guy? Um, That's Fat Joe, dude. Let's take a look at this fat guy. Omar's an illegal immigrant, and the same Sahil Omar is linked to a bombing in Fort Worth, Texas. Yo. So the, is, that a, a, is that a Chaldean name? What is that now? a terrorist attack? I mean, that could be uh, Sahil Omar. Sounds Middle Eastern. It sounds... Like, where would that be, dude? Educate It me. could be Anything? Iraq. It could be Syria. It could be Yemen. Um, he could be a Muslim convert and just changed his name. An illegal immigrant. So now it happened now. Well, how An illegal, illegal is he, dude? He's wearing Jordans. <laughs> but dude, I'm saying like that's another. So somebody died or got shot because of our border being open. So now can we draw the line? I mean, Al, is this who we're going to be intimidated from? Look at this. If he's got a gun. I don't know, man. Guns I can uh, dodge his bullets. Look how fat he is. I don't know. No, dude. I get it. I get it. It's it's. I mean, guns can kill anyone. Though. Or is this just another narrative? The right wing. Who else is it? To... So it was him and that young African American kid. The guy looks like he's. Those 20. are the only pictures I've seen. Are this dude and this dude, and they don't look related. They don't look. 
Is that the that's the young brother? That's running? the guy that yeah that was. Did he shoot? Who shot? Uh, I don't know if it was him, but great good Samaritans, dude. That's pretty brave. But imagine if he just went to his waistband. Doesn't matter. As There's so many down. dudes on him, man. You don't and know he had... his hands are. What if his hands are true? But he got three dudes on him doing jujitsu. Yeah, look at their uh, look at the hips, dude. Look at the hip sprawl. Yeah, you know what I'm the... saying? That guy knows what he's doing. That, that guy not so much. He's no, a he's grounded. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably a couple beers deep, but but that dude's got his legs sprawled out. He's got his weight. But for real, God bless properly. him, dude. I mean, you know, it's fu- fight or flight. Like you never know how you're going to react. There he is. So he probably shot because he's running. I mean, I mean, yeah, you're. Why you know, you the running? real threat is, dude, when this thing turns into a bomb. Tackled. When this turns into a bomb, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Ah, uh, thanks. Anyway. Anyway, no solution for this. This is a great way to crap. start off the podcast. Yeah. Very depressing. All right, Al. What are we talking yeah, about? I'm a, I'm a big crypto fan. I'm not, I know there's a lot of scams out there, but to me, if you want to really make your money, you don't buy when people are telling you to buy, for one. You buy when people are telling you, I sold, it sucks, it's a scam. Which is what I do every time. <laughs> Somebody tells me to buy and I buy. Like crypto is not a scam, but there's scams in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's scams in it, but crypto, you know, the big ones, they're, it's like saying stocks are scams. There might be some dude scamming you, but what do you think the top 10 uh, stocks were in 2023 in their return? Probably tech stocks, man. And a lot of it has to do with the crypto market. True. Because of the mining. Pull it up, there you go. And then uh, Ethereum. Stocks. We'll go stocks first. Proof of. Uh, top. Stake. I think it's the other one. Yeah. And then sh- so what do we got here? So that's the top performing stocks in 2023. So you got Coinbase crypto up 391 percent. That's a huge return. So if you have 100 bucks. You have 491 now. If you put that in beginning of year, Nvidia they make chips for it. DraftKings gambling. So these are kind of intertwined right here. Coinbase sure. and Nvidia. Um, I never heard of pa- Palantir Technologies. Well, either way, so look, the best is 390%. The worst top performer is 160%. You know what's crazy about Coinbase? When this bull run starts ramping up in two months, you know how many transactions they're going to do? You know how many times yeah. people are going to hit confirm purchase True. in Coinbase? And Coinbase kind of runs the custody of all these. Now, well, if you go to top uh, stock market ones, watch 20 worst perf- okay so worst performing stocks let's see the worst dollar general it's surprising yeah there's a dollar general everywhere i know when you're driving around so this- real estate Where real estate at- look at that top that's about seven down oh i see it 28 percent in 22. oh real estate's rough right now you see what's happening in china the no evergrand crisis they're over leveraged so they have all these like zombie cities that they financed, these ghost towns, kind of like the 08 crash. Like office buildings? Uh, all, it's commercial and residential. Mm-hmm. So their prices are crashing really bad. And they pretty much everybody lost their equity is what I'm hearing. And this company is going to have... There's what what anal- company? Evergrande. Evergrande. They, Check them out. So analysts are... Uh, if it's a public company, I don't know. Yeah. Analysts are um, watching this closely to see if it's going to have a contagion effect in America. Because if they're over leveraged, it's, there's possibly we're over leveraged, our residential market. Now it's getting so hot in here. Dude, I know I'm about to take my freaking shirt off. <laughs> uh, Evergrande. You, hey, oh, let me go cut the heat. <laughs> I'm like getting really hot, bro. You the, you're good. You it's got like it. It's like a sauna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me see uh, what I could pull up while you're doing that. The BBC, one of the most trusted sources of news in the world. Evergrande, why should I care if China property giant collapses? Well, I'll tell you why. I don't know why. According to the company's website, Evergrande Real Estate currently owns more than 1,300 projects in more than 280 cities. They own 1,300 projects in more than 280 cities across China. Why is ever going to, are they, okay. They've borrowed more than $300 billion. <laughs> They're toast. $300 billion. But so, this is kind of what I was saying, though. This is a, if you look at the, if they are public, you want to buy when bad news is there. All these people buy when things are great. Like, 
Let's buy NVIDIA. It's up 300%. Okay. They're, I mean, they're, fi they're filing bankruptcy, though. Yeah, don't touch them. Yeah. They're, they're, <laughs> don't like, touch I, them. They've BK'd a credit crunch when companies struggle to borrow money at affordable rates. Rates are higher. These guys can't get out of this hole, so it's like a never-ending spiral for them. That's China? Yeah, and what they're saying, there's, there's, there's news reports out. China is experiencing deflation. Things are getting cheaper there. And really? That's not necessarily a, a good thing. Um, it means their economy can't keep up. So these companies are suffering yeah, they're losses, trying to so they're consumers. Yeah, it's like a flash sale. Mm. So then they get hurt. People benefit in the short term, but overall, it's not good for their economy. It sounds good, right? Like, yeah, but you're telling I, us things are getting cheaper? Let's but yeah, I mean, if you go to a store and things are one buck, it's because, hey, we're just trying to get any money we can. But this is when opportunities arise. True. This is when giant crises like this, an Evergrande collapse, happens. So billionaires emerge, and people will buy this company up and rebrand it, rename it. But oh, you're not, you're a crypto guy, right? Though you don't buy stocks. Um, no, I'm not so much stocks. I only had stocks when I'd work at corporate companies. I would buy okay. into their company and work for them simultaneously because I know they're, you know, I'm in the guts yeah. of the game and I know they're a good company. So I'm like, why not buy your stocks? Um, this shows now, right? Now, okay. Yep. So look, uh, look at this. I like this. It looks cool. Is is that Tezos? I know you got Tezos. Oh no, that's not. Te I okay, wish okay. that. I think Tezos is uh, T X T Z. Okay. I forgot what it is. What is that? I don't know. Tao. Tao. But if I'm a fan of I'm a fan of crypto because your money can skyrocket. So if you go to the best, uh, where is it? Big O. Top performing stocks. Top performing. Where did we put? Okay, we'll just check out Bitcoin in okay. a year. In one year, it went from twenty three thousand to fifty two, so almost doubled your money. But you kind of got to you got to look at things. This is this is how I I buy things. You got to look at these lines. These are all new to me. They're resistance lines. I don't believe in you know people like blockchain backer. You know he disabled all his comments on YouTube. Did he really? Yeah, yeah. So Why? you can't even ask questions anymore. The blockchain backer. Yeah, it's because you nobody knows. So people tell you about oh it's this it's that. All I do is look at lines and I want to buy when it's down here. So people buy up here. People are telling you to buy Bitcoin right now because, because why? Because it's up. And they, it, so why would you, if you have a million dollar house, dude, and I, and I could give it to you on sale at 500,000, that's when you'd want to buy. If you had a million dollar house, why would you buy it when it's worth more than that million? They're all, they're all begging for that one more consolidation. Yes. And then boom, they're like, I got in at the right I time. Agree. Sell, sell, sell. It's going to crash every time it pumps. And you got to have a sell point. But he was one of the most influential XRP guys. Can't comment and on he him. he disabled comments. Yesterday, I was going to ask him, say, dude, it's been four years. Giant red flag. Huge. When somebody disables comments. Too many people are chirping. Giant red flag. Or they're super sensitive, but still... Let people talk. Let's see why people are bashing you. Why are you trending? I wouldn't disable comments. Somebody tell me why this idiot wearing brown with an orange t-shirt. I love church, And there's a dude. thousand of them. I'd be, I'd be like, bring it, man. There's a gas station closed somewhere. You guys are monetizing <laughs> me. Yeah, there is. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was mine. <laughs> um, oh, man. So. Tell me about XRP, Al. XRP? If we're both. Our biggest bags are XRP. You told me about it in 2020 when we were sneaking in here during the lockdowns <laughs> and you tripled your money within a week. So we thought we were golden. I mean, Al, I knew a guy. We're here four years later, dude. We're here four years later. I think you had to type it in. So we all know it got the XRP got sued by the SEC completely, completely missed the last bull run. We all got played last so bull run 2021, chart. right? So we have another bull run upon, upon us. Bro, this lawsuit is still ongoing. This lawsuit is still, it's still active. Yeah, they were declared not a security, but there's a second portion yeah, to this lawsuit. Yeah, it didn't win. No, but I believe XRP just uh, won another mini win. There's in, one year. In the court case. What is it right now? 57 cents. This is when they announced that, uh, and I believe it went higher than 83 cents. This is when they announced that uh, so, it was I mean, not a security. You would want to buy, even right now, it's at 57 cents. You wouldn't want to buy when it's 70 cents, 80 cents. It's just kind of simple, man. In the one-year chart, right? Yeah. 
but Al, a lot of people got fed up with this coin. It was always like a top ten coin, top three coin in some bull markets. Let's see the people. But it's been very 